<laughs> I also forgot that what's his face was saying I should try and use his gun on the uh, creatures. Made his gun. Yeah. The M8000. It's a handgun? I mean, I think that's the best performing handgun we have, but. Now, what am I supposed to do, though? Like. I killed the T Rex. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Can I just leave? Uh, this looks like the... Okay, there we go. Save the game. Oh, I finally found out where to go. <laughs> they wanted me to walk all the way back up to the top. Seriously? You couldn't just let me pass through the door. You already made me fight the T-Rex. You've been hassling me every step of the way getting back here. You can't just let me pass through. Put me at the bottom of the other room then. And now I'm gonna have to do another encounter. There we go. That's not what I wanted to do. What is going on? Why do I keep getting put pushed backwards? Because it looks like I'm going down. I hate this. <laughs> okay. What? Oh. I guess I can't go through there. I just want to say the perspective on those stairs is like all out of whack. They make it look like you're coming down at the thing rather than going up. Oh, that looks just wonderful. <laughs> oh, oh no. Man. 
I'm getting flashbacks to the brood mother from Dragon Age with that visual, and I do not feel well. <laughs> oh, you have got very ugly in the past uh, several hours that I have. Don't you shush me. You don't want the opera song playing in the background with every appearance. Ugh. Ugh. Looks slightly less gross when it's just polygonal. It's a wonder you made it this far. It's better from a distance. Hmm, so you're going to congratulate me on this birth? No, absolutely not. What are you planning to do? Uh, can we zoom out again, please? Perhaps you can help me answer that. Do you humans give, or why do humans give birth? Hmm? To pass on genetic blah blah. that the uh, mass of just slime looks less disgusting than you do. snatch her up. I didn't really follow that. Are you okay, Aya? Aya. You both made it out okay? Yeah, we barely made it though. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, don't remind me. That was everyone from Central Park. Is Lorraine's part of that thing too? Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> Although, honestly, that mass seems a little big to be everyone there since. Yes, it has become apparent that it has to be. To what medication. Mo oh, sorry, wow, I screwed that all sorts of up. Yes, it has become apparent as to what medication Melissa was taking. What was she on? She was being administered. Immunosuppressants? Immunosuppressants? <laughs> what? For why? So, I've never heard that term before, but the way it sounds, it sounds like it would be suppressing your immune system, which doesn't make sense. I had a transplant when she was a kid. What kind of transplant? It seems that she got one of your sister's kidneys after Maya died in a car accident. Or an accident, my bad. I just kinda added car for some reason. Kidney transplant, so Melissa got Maya's kidney. Your mother and your sister were donors. Really? I never knew that. Your mother's organs couldn't be transplanted after the accident. So Maya's kidney was transplanted into the young Eve. I'm sorry, the young Melissa. She had kidney failure. Eve's kidney is really Maya's kidney. The intern that was present at the... Yeah, Dr. Clamp. Go figure. Um, so, the transplant... So why are they both laying there, then, though? Because 
yeah, I can only assume that's Maya and Aya both, since Aya had flashbacks about this. Were present during an operation, and they all screamed that the kidney was hot. Oh boy. And then Eve is... It's hard for me to say, but the original was present in Maya. Eve killed the host brain, cultured the kidney, and obtained her own physical body. And that's what happened to Melissa. In her case, the immunosuppressant drug served to act as a catalyst. In Japan, Eve targeted a girl who had undergone a transplant. A kidney transplant, to be exact, and she was taking the same immunosuppressant drugs. Okay, this is also Eve with her. Yeah, so Eve would have a uterus to plant the fertilized egg in order to transplant organs. Then it's, oh god. Symbiotically with other cells necessary to take the immunosuppressants to avoid the immunity and avoid rejection. Or to control the immunity and avoid avoid rejection. While being controlled by Eve, Melissa felt her body change, but she finally got the lead part in the opera. If she had gone to the doctor, she would have been told to give up the part. So in order to avoid rejection, she kept taking the drugs. After taking so much, she was so weak that Eve was able to take over her physical body. And that's how she transformed into mitochondria Eve. So then Maya is the- well, Maya's body is, but apparently it's the rogue mitochondria of- oh god. Yeah, there. Separate entities, apparently. There's still things happening here? What, what are they gonna do? Finally, the time has come to put our power to the test. Oh, God. Don't be impute. Don't be impudent, Lynch. You shouldn't have to come to this. Yes, forgive me, Admiral. <laughs> you tell him, Admiral. <laughs> Stupid captain. Calling all fighter jets, we have just received permission to attack. Commence operation. Head for the Statue of Liberty. What? As planned, Helicopter Team 1 will prepare for plan... We'll Helicopter Team 1 will prepare for Plan 2. Team 2 will search and the rest will do their best to impede further advancement. This sounds kind of like the music at the beginning. I mean, What? Are you sure? The Navy's made their move. What? We can't allow this. We'll be repeating what happened yesterday with the jets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would... <laughs> yeah, unless you got, like, remote-controlled jets or remote-controlled helicopters there, maybe don't. Because you're just gonna have your people melt. This hybrid, what did it turn into a bubble? No, Lorraine, Lorraine can't be a part of that thing. If it makes you feel better, I don't think she, she uh, retains any of her Lorraine ness there. That, the huge creatures or those cells must be where Eve's giving birth. Oh god. Where is she? Yes, the huge creature will act as a barrier to protect the ultimate being. It's like the cocoon of evolution in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, eventually, the great moth will come out of it. <laughs> and it can just shoot lasers.
missiles just bouncing off of there. And more lasers. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Lorraine is dead? It's not even, it would be different if it was like the body being used to, uh, you know, carry out these nefarious things. You'd be thrown off because it looks the same. But that thing is just a mass of blood. The helicopter's coming. Everyone duck, cover your heads. Officer Brea of the NYPD, correct? Ma'am, it is my duty to accompany you to the aircraft carrier. <laughs> what? Welcome aboard the Navy's Pride and Joy, the Nimitz. I'm Williams, I command the ship. Sorry to have you come on such short notice. Well, considering the circumstances, you better not be putting Aya in danger here. Well, she's further away from Eve, so I think the danger is marginally, uh, has been taken down just a tad. You, who do you think you are talking to the Admiral that way? Shut up, Lynch. It's quite alright, Lynch. After all, he's right. What do you mean? You're the only one that can't be ignited by her. I'm asking you to get in our chopper and nuke the creature. Oh wow. Hold on, Aya can't fly a helicopter. Not to worry, the chopper's been set to auto. She won't have any problems. So she just needs to fire from a distance where she can't be ignited? If you could... If you could autopilot the chopper... And the chopper has the, uh... <laughs> nuke on it, apparently. Why couldn't you just crash the chopper into Eve that way? <laughs> Unfortunately, the weapon needs to be fired at a close range. Why don't you just crash it into her? <laughs> if it would set off the <laughs> nuclear blast, I think it would work. And since we cannot move in that close, since we will be ignited... Well, I'll do it. No way, you're not going up there. Our fate lies in your hands, Aya. You okay, Daniel? That, that it, clearly. Wait, uh, another good luck charm, huh? We don't have time for that right now. Yes, of course. Please be careful up there. Um, please don't make me fly this thing. Yeah. Having several of them take off is not a good move if, you know, you get ignited and one of you crashes into me. Also, if she's shooting, apparently, a nuke, why would the rest of you not be getting, like, as far away as you can? within view, switch to formation two. Hm. 
Does AI even know what Formation 2 is? What's happening here? In the last battle, we were able to anticipate this attack. We're positioned this way for a reason. What do you mean? I honestly don't know what they mean. We will act as your shield so you will live to attack the creature. She can't be ignited anyway! <laughs> What? No, I'm, I'm not doing this without your... The thing's just attacking the Statue of Liberty. We're entering firing range. Prepare to attack. Alright, please move away from me now. We cannot abandon our duty. Besides, we're already within range. You shouldn't have come within range in the first place! Insane. Since Christmas Eve, I've put a curse on my own body. Why is this happening to me? I don't understand. <clears throat> well, genetically speaking, if Maya had the rogue mitochondria, and she was your sister, <clears throat> it would make sense from this wacky science gone wrong perspective that you would also have something similar. Because Eve. I'm the one that can destroy you once and for all. Alright, let's let you rest peacefully. <laughs> Alright. There's that shot from the beginning. Well, almost. It's not quite the same. Uh oh. Especially uh oh. Okay, so that dude oversold it when he called that missile a nuke, I believe, because... Yeah. <laughs> There's no way the affected area would only be Ellis Island. That was magnificent. Return to base. No, it's not over yet. <laughs> it's not? Well, I mean, I'm pretty confident this game is going to go on for two more chapters, but... Uh... Really? Is this another boss fight? Hey, come back now. It's too dangerous to continue. Return to base at once. We will plan. But... Yes, save progress. Please, I need to give you... Forget it, she signed off already. Why couldn't you have just landed the helicopter? Well, I guess she's not a trained pilot, but... She flew it well enough, I think she could have figured it out. Okay, well, I... I'm just gonna do the rest of this, and probably the following chapter, in the next session. Because I've been recording for two hours, actually more, closer to three, since before the disc switch, I'm still recording for an hour. So, thank you for watching. We'll see how this confrontation with Eve goes. 
And until next time, follow me to Apex.